Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of one and two step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 28 of the 2017 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Valerie has a jug that contains 128 fluid ounces. That's a lot of salsa. She's going to put them into bowls. She filled each bowl with six fluid ounces until there was not enough salsa to completely fill another bowl. So each bowl is going to have six fluid ounces. This lets me know we are dealing with equal groups because each of these bowls has exactly six fluid ounces. And so equal groups lets us know we're going to be dealing with multiplication or division. Those are inverse operations. So how many fluid ounces of salsa were left in the jug? So we're not asking how many bowls she can fill up. We are going to need to figure out how many bowls she can fill up. But we're asking how many fluid ounces were left in the jug. So that's an interesting, interesting thing. So let's see if we can figure this out. So I'm going to draw a strip diagram to represent this. I've got my total up top. That's my 128 fluid ounces of salsa. And I'm going to pour them into bowls of six. Six fluid ounces. And the question is, is how many, how many sixes can I get out of that 128? So that lets me know that I can either multiply six times my unknown equals 128. I know my sixes, but I don't know them up that high. Probably the better way to do it would be to go ahead and make it a division problem. 128 divided by six. That is going to give me my unknown. Now, realize that when we set it up horizontally, you've got your dividend, that's the big number. And then you get your divisor second, like this. But when you set it up like long division, it actually flips. Your divisor, your six goes on the outside. Your dividend, 128, goes on the inside. So they flip a little bit. And when we're doing our long division, we remember the saying, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? That helps me remember to divide first. Then we multiply. There's a series of steps for long division. We subtract. We check. And then we bring down. That check is important because sometimes we forget it. So let's divide first. Six does not go into one. So we always start with the left. We do one digit and then two digits until we get something that works. So two digits work. Six goes into 12 twice. So we're just going to pretend like that eight is not there. We're just going to do six into 12. Six goes into 12 twice. Multiply two times six is 12. Subtract. We got nothing left. Check. We need to make sure that our difference here is smaller than our divisor, which it is. If it's equal to or greater than the divisor, we need to divide larger. And then bring down, let's get this 8 down here, and we start over again. 6 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 6 is going to be 6. Subtract, we've got 2 left over. Check, is this 2 smaller than 6? Yes, it is. There's nothing left to bring down, which means I'm done. Uh, I can show it as uh, 21, remainder 2. I can show it as 21 and 2, 6. You can make a fraction by using the remainder as the numerator, your divisor as your denominator. And so what does this really mean? This really means that we took our 128, and what we did is we filled in, let me see if I can draw. So here are 21, let's pretend these are bowls. And inside each of these are going to be 6 ounces. So you see I've got a row of seven, I've got another row of seven, and I've got another row of seven. So these are my 21 bowls that I can fill in, and that gets me 126 ounces, but I've got these two ounces left over. I can't quite get another full bowl out of those two ounces, and that's the answer we're looking for is J, two ounces.